Good morning, 11 Series Bass family. It's your boy Cruz right here. See what I got on. What does that mean? That means that we are about to go out and do some fishing, which is a good thing because it's a beautiful day here in Houston. Sun is out, at least for a little while. I think, I think it's supposed to rain later on. And uh, it's cold which is uh, always a plus plus when it's cold, I guess. I don't know. I don't prefer the cold. I'd much rather be hot, but I think I did in a couple videos. I complained a little bit about the heat in Texas, and that was because, let me just say that, uh, I guess if you get tired of the heat, like it, it was just for so long. I'm kind of just rambling on right now, but let's get back to what we're here for. And that is fishing. And we're going to go out and do a little bit of fishing. I have uh, two hours to go out and do some fishing and have a bag that I got right here from Academy. And uh, I know it's been a little while since I fished the stuff from Academy. So let's look and see what I got in the bag. And then uh, <clears throat> we'll get it tied on and go do some fishing. My Academy receipt and I end up getting all of these baits on sale so what I have in here let's see here it's not much no, don't, don't get me wrong so I have some Strike King tour grade spinner baits I have them in two different colors and they're originally $4.97, but with the military discount and then being on a discount, um, I end up getting them for 50 cents um, less. So not too bad. I mean, 50 cents is 50 cents. So instead of $5, I got them for $4.50. Um, I got them both in three eighths of an ounce. And I have one in, uh, let's see what color is this. Let's see here, this one says, <clears throat> Excuse me. He does not say. He's got a hand. <coughs> Ooh, I swallowed wrong. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, guys. I do not see a color on here for either one of them. Um, a little details about them says they have a hand tied skirt. Hand tied skirt. A uh, light wire eagle claw hook, and you can see it has a willow blade and a Colorado blade. So that's kind of the reason why I got them. And I got the two colors just because I like the two colors. This one's kind of like a uh, a gray silver, and then this one is like chartreuse white, but with that silver head. Um, they both have a gold and a silver. Um, blades on them so I really like this is there a finesse swim bait light wire we'll go out here and see and then I'm gonna tailor them in the back with um, some suicide shad these are tour grade and I got them in a sprayed grass char tail you get five of them and they're 3.5 inches long i really like that um chartreuse tail and i think i, I married them up while i was in the store that, that they would both go really really well together so that's a long intro to go over what we're going to be fishing today and i, I think with all the rain we got yesterday that we should be able to catch something on these two baits with this um, tail on the back of them. <clears throat> so let's get these tied on and uh, let's get on the water. I appreciate your guys' love and support. Let's go ahead and get on to that. Um, I know yesterday and the day before, I was just like uploading videos and uh, cause I had a couple on deck that I was just waiting to get done and I was able to go ahead and get those done and post them, so I appreciate the love couple of unboxing videos on there that I got. 
I have to stop ordering stuff, guys. I got a problem and I have to stop ordering stuff. So I appreciate the love. Um, I do have some more videos coming out. What I'm gonna do is I have some videos that I didn't actually complete, but I have fish catches from. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna combine all those fish catches into one video. So it's kind of gonna be like the some fish catches that I've had from this year that I didn't post. So um, I'll, I'll come and make a video just of those fish catches and kind of what I was using during those videos. So uh, let's get these tied on and get on the water. Peace! There it is. There's that spinner bait. Oh yeah, this is definitely a light wire spin bait, a finesse style. Definitely really, really light. Really small hook there, as you can see. All right, well, let's see what we can go get with them. Let's get tied on real quick. So I learned this new knot yesterday. I'm gonna give it a try today. Why not, right? Let me make sure those don't overlap. Okay, he said. Pinch that. And he said. One, two, three. Take it back. Do that. Said this is the strongest loop or knot he's ever used. I don't remember the exact name of it. Just looking for something different than the Palomar knot. said you'll have so there it is and he said you'll have three tag lines so I guess if we lose some fish today we'll we'll know why huh right, let's cut guess if we lose the bait right off the bat then we'll know huh Put I'm not taking anything else. These two spinner baits are probably gonna take me an extra um some extra swim, um, some swim tails, just because um, in case I go through these, I want to be able to make sure I can still <clears throat> continue to fish here. Let's see where, where is this gonna come out? Right about right there, that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Get this on straight here. This is where I need to start bringing my glasses with me because some of this I'm getting old. Hard to see. Keeper and wham, bam, thank you, man. Look at that. Does that not look juicy? All right. Peace. All right, guys. 
here we are, first spot. I got some wind blowing right up into this spot right here. This might be what we need right here. Let's see. We're gonna start our way over here. We got some really good high water. Looks good in the water. I'm gonna stick close to the bank. got really good movement in the water looks really good in the water you can definitely feel both the blades kicking in the water you can't reel this thing in very fast like I'm can't get a slow steady reel in it that's about it definitely not uh, You definitely can't strong arm this bait in. That Colorado and Willow blade moving in the water. Castability seems pretty good. No issues with that. Throwing this on my SLX, medium heavy, and the reel is the SLX DC um, 7, 7 2, 150. I am wearing that new six cents hoodie. And I have to say that the, uh, the little neck gaiter thing on it is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm quite warm in it, even though there's a good breeze blowing today right in my face. I would have to say that my neck and my chin are, are actually feeling pretty good. <clears throat> no complaints here at all from the hoodie. It's quite warm. Even with the wind blowing at me. Right now we're just trying to find these fish. I should have brought my fish finder out here with me and threw that out a couple times. I could see where these uh, 
where the fish are. And right now, I don't know where they're at. No, nothing yet. I just got out here maybe about 30 minutes ago. So, I'm hoping. Yeah, there's some rocks right down there that use you pretty good. You got a worm? You got a, a plastic worm? Um, yeah, I'm using a, a swim tail with a spinner bait. Yeah. It's cold weather. It should be pretty good. Yeah. Have a great day, sir. All right, guys, here we are. Third spot we just drove to. So technically, all of these kind of lakes in my neighborhood are kind of all connected in a way. Um, but the other spot, depending on where they were, the fish wouldn't be able to make it back over to here. So. This spot right here is kind of hit or miss also. It could either be good or it could be bad. So we're about to see. There we go. Got one. Yes. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Finally. He's a little guy. All right, there we go, guys. A little guy with the chartreuse color. There we go. There right, we go. One last look, pretty color on him though. All right, dude, go get bigger. Yes. All right, let's switch to the other color. I wonder if it's the chartreuse color that they wanted. All right, we found one, finally. This looks like to be the fourth and final stop of today. <clears throat> this spot is the same. This is a hit or miss spot right here. We just have to get down here and see what we can get. I'm gonna start with the chartreuse one first. There we go. Got one, guys. Good one. Oh. Yeah. 
Yes. Really? Yes. Check it out, guys. Better sized bass than that first one we caught. Whew. Man, not held up. Spinner bait held up. All right. All right, here we go, guys. He's roof of the mouth. He's been caught a couple times, but there we go. Strike King finesse, 387 ounce spinner bait. Nice fish. All right, one last look. There we go. Let's get her back in the water. All right, girl, get out of here. There she went. All right, let's switch back colors. Uh, well guys that may be the end of uh, our fishing day today and I'm just not making any more good casts now there we go got him <laughs> it's always one last cast guys yes Whew. look at that What a nice bass, guys. <sighs> Inhaled it. Got him in his tongue a little bit, in his lungs. So we're gonna get him back in the water really, really quick because we don't want him to uh, die. Here we go, guys, let's get him. Let's get him back in the water. He's bleeding a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try to get in here without getting without getting uh, too wet. All right, girls, you good? You ready to go? There she goes. She's bleeding a little bit. Caught her in the lungs a little bit, but in her gills. But I think she'll be, I think she'll be all right. What's up, 11 Series Bass family? It's your boy Cruz right here. And that's it, guys. We are back at the house. We have finished the Strike King spinnerbait video. And I have to say, I'm quite pleased with it. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with the turnout of the video. Um, I didn't catch quite as many fish as I thought I was going to catch, but at the end of the day, one fish, two fish, three fish is better than no fish. So to put three on the bank and in my hand is a win-win. It's a win-win. So right now we're kind of just getting everything out of the truck. And then we're gonna go ahead and close out this video. So we're gonna talk about the Strike King spinner bait. And we're also gonna talk about the six cents hoodie. I'll be right back. What's up guys? We are back in the lab with the Strike King spinner bait. Let's go ahead and pull these uh, packages back out real quick, just so we can make sure we are talking about everything, right? We're gonna go over the Strike King um, tour grade spinner bait first, and then we will go over this six cents sweater. Wow, that is one strong knot. All right, there's one. Put this right over 
here. I'm just all over the place today, guys. All over the place today. All right, here's the second one. Let's get this cut off. I, I like this, this new knot that I found. I, I have to say, I like it a lot. I, I really like this, this knot. It, it was really good. Let's just say I'm quite pleased with the knot. Let's go ahead and put my sleeve protector up, knock the old frog down. All right, there we go. So the Strike King Tour Grade Spinnerbait Finesse, okay, is three eighths of an ounce. It is, it's got a hand tied skirt, a light wire and an Eagle Claw hook. I never really got what color mine came in. So, but I will find it and put it in the description below whether or not I find it on Academy or Discount Tackle or Shop Callers, Shop Carls. I will put it down in the description um, which version it is and which colors because on here it does not, it, it doesn't say unless I'm just looking at it wrong, but on neither one of them, I saw what color it was. It does say it comes in 13 skirt colors and head color combinations. So it's got nickel and gold plated blades, high quality ball bearing swivel. So that way those, you know, these high quality swivel right here really keeps that going. And then of course we got that uh, Colorado blade and that willow blade, each with the gold and silver. You can see this one came with a silver head and then like a chartreuse white skirt. And then the other one was just opposite. I have a, sil a silver willow blade with a gold Colorado blade. That light wire hoax is very light wire. And then this one has a silver head with like that silver darkish gray on top with the flakes. And I tailored that up with these big bite baits, um, swim tails, suicide shad tour series. And uh, I have to say these, these shads, I mean, they made it through some fish and they still, I mean, they're still on there strong and they worked good with this bait. It didn't weigh it down. Um, all in all, these big bite swim baits were good. I only bought that one pack on sale, but I thought I was gonna go through the pack and I didn't. Uh, maybe because I didn't catch as many fish as I wanted to catch, but I caught three. I caught, uh, both of them caught a decent sized fish. And then of course this one caught two, caught a small one and that big one towards the end. Pleased with the discount, $5, ended up getting for four fifty, And then this one, I can't remember, ended up getting like three bucks or something. So discount baits when you go to Academy, always look for the discounts guys. Um, I'm pleased with both. If you get a chance, pick you up some, uh, Strike King Spinner Buddies. I like them. Um, so let's get to the review of my Six Sense hoodie. It's got the face shield. The hood itself collapses very, very well. And you can pull, it's got these little clamps right here that allows you to um, collapse this hood and hold it. So you just press that little button there and then Pull the line out and it uh it collapses very well and it holds i like the face mask portion of it i got some big ears so it kept my ears warm it fits good around the around your hat and you just loosen those up once you're done um the sleeves things i tried to fish like this and the sleeves weren't long enough so if you're looking to use the thumb things while you're fishing, um, you might have to get a bigger size. Um, the large, it just, just wasn't working. The, the sleeves weren't long enough for me to reel it and cast. Um, so that that's a feature that I won't be able to use while I'm fishing, um, which is no big deal. I mean, I it really felt uncomfortable reeling the rod in with uh, my thumbs in the sleeves right there. So I kind of stopped doing that. Um, the pockets were amazing. Um, I just wished that on the bottom, 
of the sweater down here, there was like a drawstring to pull this a little bit tighter, but the pockets worked great. I was able to keep my phone in there. Um, when I wasn't fishing, I was putting my hands in my pocket. It's a humongous pocket. I, I think this whole swim bait packet will fit right in there. So if you're looking to, to carry, um, not carry a backpack or something, you can fit those right inside those pockets. So that was good. I, the zippers were good. I didn't really use this pocket, but it goes, it goes right to left instead of left to right. So the pocket kind of goes to my left arm. Um, it's probably decent. So I'll probably put my phone in there, maybe some AirPods or something in there. Um, yeah, really warm. I, I like the fleece lining in the sweater. And then of course the hat, I think I talked about the hat in my Christmas video um, that I didn't like it, but I actually, it's actually grew on me a little bit. Um, I, I really like the hat now, I like it. Um, six cents, it is what it is. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Thanks for the love. Um, we're going into Thanksgiving week. I got some basketball Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I am gonna get out there and fish. So be looking for some fishing videos, even maybe a surprise Thanksgiving day fishing video. Uh, be on the lookout for those. And uh, keep doing the love guys, I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the water, peace.